Welcome back to the arcade. Listen, it is like 5 a.m. in the morning right here. I got to check out this Airbnb. I'm on the road today, but I could not miss God of War docuseries. Docuseries, Raising Kratos Part 3. I don't know where to look, but I'm going to have to do it in my car. We're on the ground right now, so I apologize for the audio and the quality compared to what you're used to. But hey, we got to get it done. I'm very committed to the cause. Please lick that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're going to transition to future GJ in the car. God, thank y'all for joining me. <laughs> get to lead a team it's been a hell of a day so far. In our role as uh, not the best, but the game. That's we here, man. Role. Thank y'all for, uh, for sticking with me. The creatures, the gods, and monsters that you come across. The hope is that we get something that feels unique. And they just went straight into it, huh? Legacy of what the God of War franchise has always done, I feel like, from the first games. Designing creatures and characters. Doing, and that's not always easy. I love that we're meeting the entire team, too. Well, not the entire, but most of them. Um, I hope y'all been successful at dodging all these fucking smallest, marty little rats. Hi, my name is Marissa Coppert. I am a character Hey, what's up, Marissa? Hi, my name is Angela Rico, and I Nose am a character artist in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Della Longfish, and I am the lead of the character concept team. You sound like a Game of Thrones character. Della Come Longfish. In. What in all yarns be the happen? What you been beating I'm a character technical him? artist here at SMS. I rig most of the characters and props that you see throughout the world. As character artists, our job is to create 3D assets based on the beautiful concept that are provided to us. We do this by making sure it's that It's amazing how many details and, and the pieces go into this shit. And the stand out instantaneously. So when you see our characters on the screen, we want you to almost like them immediately. <laughs> Or have got that Santa Claus drip on? To some extent, before even interacting with yeah, them. Yeah, something, bitch! I got the chance to collaborate with all the departments in the studio, from uh, from narrative to viz dev. Look at that, man. The factions feel correct. God, the God. They're supposed oh, to be in all my the day. realms. I have very specific... The road to Ragnarok, we close. Them ...to make sure they all fits within the God of War universe. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. What is that? In the God of War 2018, we saw Brock and Sindri, and that was the tip of the iceberg of the whole drug. They're and looking like the, um, uh, we actually you know, the, go and the shit in the middle. The I can't even, uh, my brain is fried right now. That too, we want to make sure that we expand the cast. You know, we've just seen a little bit of the, the, the Ram Uber. That's why I call that it that <laughs> the Ram seen. Uber. Svartalheim is a, is a beautiful place. There's a lot of different biomes. You go from I want some of that art, man. to mountain springs and took a lot of inspiration from um, hot springs, from the minerals that you ah. find. A lot of colorful minerals, a lot of resources. So and they drawing that from the paper the to the screen to like... We want to ah. play on that as well. So you see their influence on Svartal High. Oh, I'm on my iPad, water. if you it's didn't know. where you're going to find Obviously. a lot of water environments. There's quarries. It's a very industrial city. It's very organized. And you can see all the dwarves putting all the work into creating this great city where they live in knowing that they're blacksmiths that that was kind of reflected within their clothing. damn and you see that within the houses and every entry one why are you sure looking that like that environments <laughs> and characters had a cohesiveness that felt like every inch of it felt like it went together watermelon specifically by don't laugh and again that's something that we don't have seen in a, some of the other realms and is unique to this characters and their location they got pumpkins and, the and shit i hey, hope y'all had a good halloween by the way if you celebrate you're excited to see feels unique and really creates that sense of wonder where you want to go back Oh, yes, when designing a character to well, match the won. geography around it, uh, first it's definitely dictated by the biz dev team and the narrative team and the story team. They make sure the character is designed it is. for features that fit in with what ah. they need. When designing the Grims, we took a lot of inspiration from the environment. So we took a lot Those of Grims are lizards, disgusting. They look mad annoying. To that environment. Look at that top one. Claws, look at his arm. Small critters to the big ones and really building up that race, making sure they kind of belong and that that realm filled like in my... and that <laughs> ecosystem felt like very dark. It looks like my ex-girlfriend, sure I, I, but I wrote characters, so. Art that goes into design <laughs> elements. So our artist, Stephen Oakley, uh, put a lot from the environment concepts that Luke Berliner and his team were doing and put a lot of those into actually the skin texture, even the bulk and volumes that Eesh. you see in the characters. So it really does feel like not only do they belong in there, but you're able to see them when they stand out. What, scraping fire or something? The character. Oh! 
Uh, get in there! Get in there, Trace! Character design is all about storytelling. I also really like the, the fact that they the really gave us a high mixture of different really enemies. That was one of the biggest criticisms of 2018 that all the enemies and the mini boss fights were the same, which they were. He's very but um, he's very it's like they made a major he's improvement. A very play by the rules kind of guy. But then in contrast, you have his friend. That's his name. So when you see Berlin connect with his pet, we see that he's not all just this rigid librarian guy, but that he's got a softer side. Yeah, I don't I trust him already. Well, got an invisible eye patch like Nick Fury. Even in the tech side of things, I mean, we work to make that, these characters that, that then beautiful. tell a story. And we can also kind of put those features and traits on our rings. You hear that Bear McCrary? That score? Ooh, I'm such a nerd! Svarheim, the dwarves, working with different races from different realms, so definitely seeing Ragnarok and the impact of that into the realm, it puts them into this position that's very interesting to see which side they take and things that they're building. So as you go through the level, you find out a lot more about this race and the political situation that oh, is happening while shit. Ragnarok and Fimbleway Just seeing people there still hey, blows my cool. mind, man. Oh. Uh, oh my away. god, his voice so deep! My train's voice so deep! Every ah. game is not that it's just enemies there to kill you. We want to feel believable and that there's a wide world out there. But we want to kind of plant these seeds within any cast of the realm that there's more outside of what you're playing. We want the fans to feel like... This is really the only time I watch really anything God of War related here in the last few weeks. Explore. It's just the this. And smell here to prevent spoilers and YouTube showing me shit, you know? Maybe the earthquakes are too? Hi. Going into Svarheim, I'm really excited for players to experience all the new races that live That was the original realm, shot that was in on the Game Informer magazine. from anything we had before. There's uh, wildlife, mm -hmm. something that kind of goes unnoticed, but we took a lot of effort to make the realm feel believable. Well, I believe it. So there's a lot in Svarheim, a lot to explore. I'm really excited for Svarheim. It is a gorgeous... She looks like the nicest barista in the, the universe. Playing some cinematics and playing through some of the puzzles. I'm so excited how water plays such a big feature in that realm. Yeah, that puzzle that looks crazy. So I'm going to be Googling cool. that shit already. I'm, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> finally get to see how the dwarves live. Brock and Sindri were fan favorites in the last game. We got the whole so crew in there. I think that... All the work that we've put into Spiral oh my God, look at is that. going to make all the other dwarves shine just as bright as the brothers did. The best part I have is turning on the YouTube and seeing all these callouts and all the attention to detail that the fans pay. Because everything on. That's is great. Y'all go to man. To make sure we do right by the fans. And <gasps> that all the work we put in will be seen and appreciated. That's not always Fucking the case, but our fans just get every little nook and cranny on that. And we love that. And we packed a lot of that in for this new cast. And we hope you guys get the same feeling with God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're very close. We're on less than what? I don't know, 10 days, nine days out. It's my birthday to November 9th, as a lot of y'all know. I should be home by the end of the weekend been a shitty day but this just made my day and if you watch this with me and you chose me i appreciate you i love y'all um i will be doing i've said this over and over again the kratos versus thor versus djx fight i have a big production plan just for the beginning of the game only God. ah it's gonna be fun man all right i gotta go edit this on my phone <laughs> catch y'all later man peace